What is good everybody? I am back with a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be giving you five things that you should know before going into your first disc golf tournament. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I just played in my first disc golf tournament ever. And of course I learned things throughout this experience. So I have thought of five tips or five things that I think you should know before going into your first one. Coming in at number one is the fact that it's gonna be a long round. Now the tournament I was in was very well ran and if there were backups on holes, we only waited about five minutes. But regardless, you're gonna be on a card of four to five people and it's gonna be much longer than your average round with your buddies. So in general, I recommend packing extra water and possibly some snacks just in case you got hungry out there because I definitely did right around hole 13 to 14, I was definitely starving. Coming in at number two is know the course you are playing. Obviously, if you have time, you're probably gonna practice the course that you're playing in tournament. This is just kind of common sense. But while you're practicing the course, make sure you are studying the course as well. And what I mean by this is that there may be some tee pads that are guarded with trees, meaning you can't really feel what kind of wind is down the fairway. So while you're practicing, there may be holes that you can automatically tell that this is always a headwind or this is always a tailwind. And the majority of the time, if it's always a headwind, then come tournament day, down the fairway is probably still going to be a headwind. Of course, wind can change, but if you can't feel the wind from the tee pad and the best way you know what the wind is doing is from your practice rounds, you're going to have a lot higher chance of picking the right disc you need to to make sure that you're in the fairway. When you go out and practice, practice a little bit slower than your normal round. And I say this because the tournament is going to be slower. And so if you practice slower, then you are truly practicing for that tournament. Number three is try and have a caddy. I didn't realize how important this was for me until I got out on the course. And luckily before the tournament started, I had a buddy, shout out Tyler Beagle. He asked me if I wanted a caddy and boy, am I lucky that he asked. And I'm not saying to have a caddy just so they can hold your disc. Trust me, that is nice for them to hold your disc, but to have somebody there to have a companion in a sense, will help your mental game so much. Come round two of the tournament, I threw OB on the very first hole, didn't get up and down, missed my putt, and double bogeyed the very first hole of the second round. I was very, very frustrated. Luckily, I had Tyler there to kind of calm me down and tell me, listen, dude, there's a lot of golf to be played. Just keep doing your thing. And I went and birdied holes two and three, putting me right back to even. If I didn't have a caddy, I definitely could have gotten my own head and it could have been way worse of a round. I think to have a caddy, especially for your first go, will help you mentally and will help you calm your nerves come tournament day. That's definitely a big shout out to Tyler. Thank you so much for being there because I'm telling you, you probably saved me multiple strokes. Number four, stay focused. The disc golf community is probably some of the nicest people that I have ever competed against. I feel like everybody wants you to succeed, do your best. Everybody hates chain outs, hates when you hit a tree, and overall are just super nice people. So you're gonna meet some great people and the card will probably all talk just like you've known each other forever. Now this is great to kind of lighten the card up, but also on the other hand, try and stay focused on why you're there and overall just compete. For me, I felt like each shot was very precise, very, very focused in on my shot. And right after the shot, I would be able to kind of chit chat, have a fun time with the card. And I think it's a very important thing to have fun with your card, but also be able to flip the switch to when you get to your shot to throw a good shot. Like I said, the disc golf community is so nice and everybody I had on my card was super nice. But when it came down to the shot, just try to flip the switch to be focused on your next shot. And finally, number five, and that is be prepared for all types of conditions, whether that's rain or whether it's really, really windy. Be prepared to maybe switch up your bag, make sure you bring extra towels, an umbrella, whatever it may be. Now, the reason I bring this up is because I told my brother that I wasn't going into this tournament without having an overstable driver. So I ended up buying this 22 Calvin Destroyer because I knew they were stupid stable and could handle any wind. So come day two of the tournament, it is extremely, extremely windy. 
I had nothing in my bag previous that really would have been able to hold up to this wind. But luckily I went in knowing that I might have to switch up the bag a little, put something a little bit more overstable in the bag. And this got me through a lot of my shots because it really just doesn't budge in a headwind. Of course, I'm not saying that you need to go buy different discs just to prepare for a tournament. But if you do have some more overstable discs at home or understable, whatever you may need, be prepared to possibly switch up your bag just a little bit to get you through that round. Other than that, guys, of course, know the rule book, but that is my five things that I think you guys should know before going into your first tournament. Things that I learned throughout this tournament. Also things that I have learned caddying for my older brother, Austin. Anyway, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. That is pretty insane. Let's keep it up. Thank you for all the support. Make sure to go follow Chase and Chains underscore on Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description. I post there daily and keep you updated on the next videos. We will see you on the next one.